And Israel is critical. And the reason it's critical is because it's a bulwark for us in the Mideast. It's almost like having an aircraft carrier in the Mideast. It's our oldest ally, and it's been our ally for 75 years. Um, it has been an incredible ally for us in terms of the technology, the exchange. And, you know, in building the Iron Dome, which we paid a lot for, has also taught us enormously about how to defend ourselves at home for missiles. So those military expenditures um, are, are, you know, are, are all going, 75% of it goes to U.S. companies under the agreement, under the MOU. But if you look at what's happening in the Mideast now, Iran is now um, a, the closest allies to Iran are Russia and China. Iran also controls all of Venezuela's oil. Hezbollah is in Venezuela. They have propped up the Maduro regime, and so they control that oil supply. Um, BRICS, Saudi Arabia is now uh, joining BRICS. So those countries will control 90% of the oil in, our, in the world. If Israel disappears, the vacuum in the Mideast, which is, you know, Israel is our ambassador, it's our presence, our beachhead in the Mideast, and it gives, us, um, it gives us ears and eyes in the Mideast, it gives us intelligence, it gives us the capacity to, um, uh, to, to, to influence affairs in the Mideast. If Israel disappeared, Russia and China would be controlling the Mideast, and they control 90% of the world's oil supply, and that would be cataclysmic for U.S. national security. So that's the answer I give you.